welcome back to my channel um today ignore my appearance i haven't changed yet it is still early um i found lots of canvases i still have that i haven't used yet so i'm gonna paint them up and i have thought about trying to do stitched pictures so i'm going to use obviously needle and thread and i'm going to try and make them Disney theme. As you can tell, I like Disney. So, yeah, I'm going to try and use these up. I'm not going to do as much talking as I did last time. I'm just going to get on with it. And if I need to update you in the middle, I will. But I'll just show you the end results at the end. So, yeah. I'm going to get on with it. And then I'll show you the end results. So I'm going to change really quick, I'm going to crack on with these and I have a few different sizes so if you, when I start doing it and it seems to be a different size it's because I've changed my mind on what canvas I'm using because I have quite a few that I haven't used yet plus this one seems to have a hole in it so I don't know what I'm going to do with this one So not even small either, so I'll proper fingers gone through it. Anyway, let's put my canvas in this hole. So, because I ran out of my brown thread, this is nowhere near enough to make anything with it. Don't want to bin. I did go and buy more. It is... Sorry, put the camera open. It is a slightly different... Well, it's a lot... It's a lot thinner. And it's not as shiny. Um, because this is, let me just move this, 
Um, this one is a higher quality, so than this thing. This is just the really cheap thread you can get. That's why it's on cardboard. But um, they're not actually that far out. Obviously, the original one is lighter and it has got that shine to it. But it is mainly those three bigger pieces that you're going to see it on. So hopefully once I'm done all of it, it should be okay. I did a few just to double check it, were, it looked okay. And that I didn't need to get rid of it. That's why I haven't recorded those uh, five pieces. But I'll record the rest of it. In between, I did start peeling off the paper just to check it looked okay. Sorry for the really bad camera, I'm doing this really quick because I'm editing and I just realised I haven't done an outro for the video. My hair is a mess, it's really late, I don't care. Um, <laughs> I know the video is a bit choppy, my camera kept dying, I kept starting things and realised, oh my god, I'm not recording. So there is a few pieces missing. Ooh, sorry, I'm just moving a bit. This is the final result. Sorry if my I'm shaky at the moment. But that's the final result. I don't think the hair turned out that badly. I know you can see a bit of a difference in that one small section. But I don't think it's too bad. And then I did decide to do an aerial one as well. Because I have this metallic -y blue paint and I thought it would look really nice for like a water texture so I've done those two um, I think the colour stands out on the lighter paints rather than the darker ones I wish I did mix 
the red with a bit of white now to brighten it up a bit but overall I don't think they turned out too bad so there's those two I am doing a third canvas my hair is all over the place I am doing a third canvas um, you have seen it a little bit in the clips it is poking around here and there so I don't know if any of you noticed it or whether you're going to go back now and see if you can see it but the background the, the background the canvas I have painted green so for bells the red is corresponding to the rose and for Ariel the blue is corresponding to the water so my challenge for you guys is to work out what the green corresponds to and which Disney princess it is. You might be able to tell from the uh, little sneak peek as uh, some might call it but I want you guys to see if you can work out who it is because you can't see it that well and it is only for a couple of seconds in one of the clips because I forgot to hide it. <laughs> um, yeah so I thought it turned out really well it was much better than what I had pictured in my head um, I'm sorry this video was a bit choppy and that there are parts missing but like I said just now my camera kept dying I kept forgetting to record because I just wanted to get it done uh, it did take me a few days to make this well to make both of them because using the needle so much through the canvas and the paper and because the thread was doubled up it was it was putting strain on my hands a little bit and I was getting a few blisters so I stopped before I did hurt myself too badly um, I do have a few cuts on my thumbs so if you try to do anything like this do prepare yourself your hands will hurt because you're gripping a needle so tightly um, I will also apologise for the view of my legs a lot of the time. I haven't been too well while I was making these so I was in bed a lot so it was just something small for me to do in bed. So I, again I'm sorry for camera angles and choppiness. I did cut out a few bits that were odd angles. <laughs> They weren't like inappropriate, they were just really odd. So I cut them out. Don't worry about them, forget about it. <laughs> um, again, for, sorry about this outro, I completely forgot to do it and I'm editing now so I thought I'll do it really quick. Um, I will upload the photos onto my Instagram account so I'll add a link to that in the description box. I am hoping to open an Etsy shop by the end of the year so I've created a second Instagram account for that. Whether it'll stay that way I don't know but I'll link that in the description box as well and I will be updating it on the 1st of September which is in two weeks, week and a half. Depending on when I upload this because it's the 21st of August today so a week and a half from now <laughs> um so yeah i'll link both of those accounts down below go and follow me on my main blog page i don't know what else to call it i just upload everything i make <laughs> it's a bit of a shambles but it's who i am it's what i make so enjoy it um also don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see other random things I decide to make. <laughs> uh, a lot of them will be Disney theme because again I am in Disney, I like Disney, you can see it all around my room. Um, I am a big kid, I will point that out now. I don't know why it's bigger like this. <laughs> um, so yeah don't forget to like this video, subscribe so you can see other videos, comment what you think that third canvas is and i will in well when i finish it <laughs> in about a week or two i will upload a picture of that to my instagram as well and you can see if you were right um and again 
subscribe so you can see other things I make. Uh, also comment down below on this video what other things you would like to see me make and any kind of drawing things you'd like me attempt so any suggestions you have leave them down below leave them on my instagram page for the picture to this video um so yeah i hope you will like this i know it was really quick paced and it was really choppy it was really awkwardly filmed but i wanted to get it up for you guys no matter how it turned out uh so either way, I hope you liked it. I hope you liked the outcome. I hope things that I make on this channel inspires you to make things. So I'm going to sign off. I hope you guys are still creating and crafting and being as creative as you can during all of this. Whatever this is now, this pandemic thing whatever's happening with it anymore because no one knows it's just crap <laughs> sorry for my language but it is so i hope during all of this you're all finding some way to stay creative to stay active to keep your minds sane <laughs> in some sort of way so like subscribe follow me Stay creative and I'll see you in the next craft, art, thing, whatever I decide to do. <laughs> so, yeah, stay creative. <laughs>